the beat that I'm begging is delicious. Burgalicious definition, make them boys go loco. They want my treasure, so they get their pleasures from my boat. So you can see me, you can't squeeze me. I ain't easy, I ain't sleazy. I got reasons why I tease and boys just come and go like seasons for delicious. But I ain't promiscuous. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the cutting edge. I'm back, and I have another part two to this video. So if you don't like it, fuck off. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, let's move on past that subject because I'm happy. I really, really, but oh, and I do want to say I think Judge Judy is a bitch. First of all, this this old fucking fart. This lady just goes to fuck off for no fucking reason. She don't let nobody get that fucking conversation across. And I want to know why in the hell, why in the hell is she still on air? First of all, she brags about being a judge for 30 fucking years. Don't you think it's time to fucking retire? Excuse me for all the fucking F-bombs, but Judge Judy pissed me off today. And I'm quite sure that was a rerun. But who gives a damn? She had pissed me off anyway. Oh my God. Oh my God. Did you guys hear? Angie Stone was arrested in Atlanta for speeding on a suspended license. Angie Stone. Angie Stone, get your ass, get yourself together. First of all, you in Atlanta. You know, if you get caught driving on a suspended license, it's an automatic 10 days. And then on top of that, if you get arrested, your ass got to serve six hours mandatory. Because in Atlanta, there's a rule. You got to spend six hours while they investigate your ass all around the world. So if you're on the run and you get caught in Atlanta, your ass will be held until they get your ass to where you're going. Excuse me, y'all. I had used a lot of bad language for the first two minutes of this video. But I just want to say, I'm not going to make this long. I'm going to make this short. I just want to say to all of my people and all of my viewers out there, I need you for the log on to YouTube.com and subscribe. I don't know when I will be coming back. I may be coming back tomorrow and I may be coming back next week. For now, I want to say that the word for the month of March is support. If you don't got a support team around you, and if you don't support other people, then everything you got will crash and burn. So, I want to say that the word for the month of March is support, even though we'll be going into the month of April real soon. We're going to take that word and we're going to use it very, very strongly. Because I want everybody to support everybody out there. And I want everybody to be getting the same support that I would like to be getting. Okay? So, I need you for the all get to um, make sure you're out there supporting people. And my product that I would like to endorse this week is St. Ave Timeless Skin. First of all, I would like to say that I have been having some bad problems with my... Let me zoom in. I have been having some bad problems with my skin. And when I talk to... Oh, give me a second. Hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second. And when I talk to my dermatologist about my bad skin, he says most likely in reference to my job. As you guys know, I am a hairstylist. Um, I, I practically do most or should I say some or used to do most of the Richmond elites which are the most popular people in Richmond and I want to say um, shout out to all the hairstylists in Richmond um, the Queen will be throwing a big a real big big hair show this year and I want to say that I would like all you hairstylists to join in for the grand prize but anyway I just want to say that my endorsement will be St. Ives Timeless Skin. Okay, um, it's, it's some things that has been bothering me out here in the world, and I want to say these things have been bothering me for quite some time now. Um, apparently, when I, when I use the word support, I want to say that I'm taking this to heart. Um, I'm starting uh, an organization 
which is going to be a nonprofit organization. And this organization is going to help and feed the homeless. Um, when Hurricane Katrina stuck, struck a couple of years ago, which I shouldn't say a couple, I should say four or five years ago in New Orleans, um, I looked at this documentary called When the Levees Broke. And when I looked at the documentary, um, it was about four hours long. I could say it had about four to six parts. Um, that documentary probably will always be in my head because of the struggle that I seen black people go through in the midst of Hurricane Katrina. Um, so, I would like you guys to keep a watch out for my upcoming um, organization, which will be called the PAP Foundation. It's called P-H-A-P. -P. Make sure you remember that because I want you to know that when you're donating to the PAP project or foundation that all of the proceeds will go to the homeless. Um, I don't want to give too many of my ideas away now because I feel like my ideas are my ideas. Um, one of my ideas was inspired by a mutual friend. She says I can run with this idea and I will. So I just want to say look out for my organization. This organization will help the homeless. It will feed the homeless. And I want to say, anybody that would like to be a part of this organization, you should get in contact with me via YouTube. Um, you can reach me at YouTube.com. And if you type in Mother Baldwin, that would be M-O-T-H-A-B-A-L-D-W-Y-N, all one word. You can find me. Also, guys, also, I found out, <clears throat> I did find out one other thing about myself. If you want to Google me, you can Google me. Yes. Right in your Google tab, you can type in Mother Baldwin. Again, that's M-O-T-H-A-B-A-L-D-W-Y-N. All one word. If you Google me, you can find my Twitter, my Facebook, my MySpace, my YouTube, and everything. But I really would like you guys to log on to YouTube and subscribe. Okay, the new cast of Dancing with the, Star, with the Stars was revealed about a couple of weeks ago. And I just want to say congratulations to that cast. That cast is so diverse. And I want to say Wendy Williams, as I said in the last, the video before the last one. How you doing? Don't send anybody to Jerry this season on your talk show. Because Lindsay Lohan most likely was, will never forgive you for that with that whole clap. Because I would be wrong if I said clap. If you want Wendy to lose Dancing with the Stars. Now, I don't want to come at you, Wendy, because I love you. I love what you're doing. I love you from radio. I love you to talk. But, don't send anybody to jail, okay? Um, other than that, I want to say that um, the whole um, Dancing with the Stars cast is really, really diverse. And I want to say that I, I think um, Master P's son is going to make it if he hasn't already lost. I haven't watched TV, you guys, but please forgive me because I be just listening to the thing. I work in a hair salon, so I get a lot of my buzz from my job and certain things that certain people watch. Because, of course, you know I can't be everywhere at one time. I'm not Ryan Seacrest. Congratulations, Ryan. You have more jobs in America than the average American. And you still manage to stay looking good. But anyway, we're going to move on from that. I still don't think you should sit next to Kelly Ripper. But, or, or Mark Consuelos. It would just be a, a benefit going wrong. So, please, do not, do not do that. Oh, and I, when I was watching TV, um, uh, apparently a week ago, I seen Jennifer Hudson weigh in on if she would or how she would per sue if they were to pick her for the Aretha Franklin movie and you know her her response was just like mine's was Jennifer Hudson will play that movie so I'm gonna need the directors and the producers to get together and make sure Jennifer Hudson plays Aretha Franklin thank you um I don't really have too much to talk about on this second part of this video, but I did want to get my organization in, and I want everybody to know that when um, you donate to my organization, that I'm going to have it set up so I do have a lawyer, so I don't be sued in the past or in the future. 
for any of this drama that's going on about these people that have been sued in the past. But I'm going to leave all of these um, thoughts to you guys. And I want to say I hope Angie Stone, I hope you just get it all together with this whole um, Atlanta thing about you speeding. And I just want to say I want to give a shout out to my niece Kaylee and my niece Kesa. Uncle Maya loves you guys, and I hope one day soon, um, I could, I will be able to say this behind millions, behind the TV, while million, millions of viewers watch me. Anyway, I wanted to say that, um, oh God, am I gorgeous, or am I just being too naive right now? Damn, they don't make them as good as me anymore. But I'm going to move on and I'm going to say I thank you guys for watching and I want to let you know that the cutting edge will be back and the cutting edge has never gone anywhere and please subscribe and like these videos. Thank you.